Okay guys, again, welcome back to another week featuring Crackhead 1 and 2. Who's 1? Mm, it's like the original Crackhead and the second Crackhead came from that Crackhead. Who's the original? I don't know. It's You're blocked with Eden Miniman and Simona Catalano. Okay, today we're gonna be talking about whether or not your significant other can have friends of the opposite sex that they are attracted to. So we're gonna specifically talk about heterosexual, like, you know, can your boyfriend have a female friend um, if he is fully straight and into girls. So this obviously goes both ways, goes with same sex, goes with whatever, just to put it out there, but we can only speak from our experiences, which is your man having a motherfucking female friend and you're like, okay. Poor cat. <laughs> Kiss the esu. I don't know what that means. I don't even know if that's a word. We're gonna delete that. Right. Hana, no, we should actually see if it's a thing and then insert the definition. And then insert, and then it's gonna be like she said it wrong. So this has been like a lifelong debate. I feel like, and it actually comes down to the idea of platonic friendships. Does that exist? Well, sociologists think it can. I'm here to tell you that. Eden's trying to be smart today. Fucking. She took my sociologist fuck, fucking Yeah, hat. I did. Okay. You know what? They all say that yes, you can, but I believe that it is extremely difficult and there are so many boundaries that need to be in place and there are so many fucking little, little gray zones that we need to address here. Exactly. I think the gray zones are where all of the confusion around this happens. Obviously, of course, you can. Like, I know people that have had 110% platonic relationships. Right. But do you know what that means? That means that at no point in time did either one of the individuals like the other person or did anything happen. That is 100% platonic. Yep. And not very many relationships are like that. Friendships. Friendships. Yeah. First yes. and foremost, for me, I have to have certain things that are check marked for me to be okay with my man having a female friend that's in his life. Okay. Right. Number one, for me, it's usually like I need her to be in the picture before me. Yeah. You can't go yeah. make female friends while you're with me. It's no. It's kind of weird. No. Do you know that's what I mean? so weird. Don't just make a female friend while you have a girlfriend because you're female. Because what I say too is I am your girlfriend and your best friend. Yes. Which I think is a fruitful and, and fulfilling exactly. relationship. Exactly. But also, the point that I, I want to make here with him making a female friend, all the times I've, I've tried to make male friends, it has never worked because the line is always crossed. They always it want something more. They always so think about their... Exactly. So it's the, never 110% platonic. Like, mm -hmm. no. You don't go out with that. You're like, maybe let me try to get at her as a friend but you're still trying to get at her, you know what I mean? Because in their mind, it's like, well, if she's cool, might as well fuck her too. Okay. Number two, I need to have met her for me to be cool or trusting with the fact that you have female friends. Now, it has nothing to do with, and girls are gonna be like, you have to have trust in the relationship. Okay, listen, I do, but I don't trust her because I know how girls can be, and we're gonna go into that later. Yeah. And if I don't know her and she hasn't met me face to face and I can't sense her vibe, how am I supposed to really be cool? That goes with, yeah, with yeah. everybody. Even when you're meeting the boys. Yeah. Like, you need, you need to meet everybody in person that your significant other is friends with because energy never lies. Like, I got to read the vibes. Facts. Like, you can't, you can't fuck 100%. up and misread energy. So, like, you need, you need that face-to-face. -face. I would really prefer if she was taken as well. Okay. Because it creates like, a little bit more of security. Yeah. It's like, okay, she has a guy. And like, well, she also me. understands the dynamic too. Do you know what I Hopefully, mean? Hopefully, yes. Hopefully. Now, it's not always the case. Good point. Right. But, you know, it's a, those are like the three things that I feel like I need to be accepting of the idea of a female friend being close to my man. Right. I'm going to throw out the arguments that like we usually get. Mm -hmm. So it's like, dude, Bring like she's just my friend. Like we just go out and grab coffee. Like... We talk all the time. We're super close. Like, why can't I be friends with her? Mm -hmm. Okay. Why do you need to keep that relationship so intimate and so close? Like, do you really need to be talking every single day? Like, what, what's the point? Like, at, at, and also at all hours of the day. No. Like, are, is she being, are you guys both being mindful of the fact that, like, it's 1030 and, like, we're in bed together and she's texting you? So that's the fucking point here is if you're going to have female friends and you're going to vouch to keep them forever with me involved, you need to be, and she needs to be distant and fucking know her boundaries. And you need to know your boundaries and 
force those boundaries upon her if she's not gonna if she's not gonna go along with them. Yeah. And if she isn't, red fucking flag. I think as the guy, um, speaking of guys here, like being super mindful of how your girl feels is so encouraging and actually gives that girl that's your friend um kind of like a sign being like listen like i'm respecting my girl here my mm -hmm. girl's not comfortable mm -hmm. i would just appreciate it if you just kept the text like if it's like 8 p.m at night like okay fine if it's like super urgent but like let's not let's not go past 9 p.m like, yeah like like nighttime is like we're laid up and we're doing exactly. our thing exactly but also expect that as a female friend too right to be like okay like i'm gonna make the assumption in the evening like they're hanging out and they're doing their own thing and I really don't think it's appropriate. Like, in general, 100%. like, what what do you need him to talk to you about in the middle of the night? Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. I think there needs to be a fucking line. And a boundary. And, like, I've been in that position, like, when I was younger and, like, I was going out, there was a, a guy that I knew who was, like, the owner of a club and I would just, like, text him, like, at all hours of the night being like, listen, like, I'm trying to get in, like, I'm with my girls. And, like... When you're like young, you're not, you don't really think that far ahead. I'm like, it's like 3 a.m. or it's like 12 a.m. Like whatever, it's my life. I'm like, like whatever. Answer. Like I'm like going from this club to this club. Let me just text him and be like, hey, like what's up? Like can you get me in? Like I'm here, whatever. And it came to a point where he was like, listen, like I can always get you in. Like I'm always going to try. He's like, I just need you to do one thing for me. I'm like, oh my God, like what did I do? Like, yes. <laughs> and he was like, listen, like you can't text me past nine. He's like, it's just like I'm with my girl. We're in bed. I'm like, oh my God. To you, man. Like you. I am so sorry. Cheers First of all, I'm so sorry because that did not cross my mind at all. Like aside from the fact that I wasn't into him like that, I was like, listen, just get me the fuck in. I was like, I didn't know he had a girlfriend. And then when he said that, I was mindful of me like, oh fuck, I'm so sorry. And also as the girl, like I was not aware in that moment and he made me aware and I was like, okay, like fucking respect. So as a female friend, learn. If you are the female friend, you're like, well, why is his girlfriend so controlling now of the relationship and I can't talk to him and he doesn't answer me back right away anymore, blah, blah, blah. Keep in mind, first of all, the shit, friendships change once the man gets into a relationship. You have to come to terms with that if yeah. you're the female friend. So yes. this is a good angle here. Also, what Simona did was extremely mature because the man, first of all, kudos to him for yeah. fucking being like, sorry, honey, you're not going to text me at this point in time. Yes, he said it nicer. He but said it, yeah. Like, yeah. He was like, <laughs> and that's the thing. I'm like, bitch. <laughs> he knew I was like, I was so young. Listen, it could come from an innocent place, which is what I was going to say. You were messaging him for club purposes. That was very innocent. If right. the female friend um, knows he's in a relationship but doesn't know like how serious or feels like kind of weird, doesn't know how to maneuver, although I don't think that's much of an excuse anymore as you get older. However, we're going to give you the benefit of the doubt. It's an innocent text. Yeah. He... Yes, he should be the one to say, I'm just laid up with my yeah, girl, yeah, it's hard time, yeah. kills the vibe. Yes. I get it. Like, imagine if we were in that position, I'm like, 100% totally understand. You also don't want to put your girlfriend in a position where she feels that, because that ruins the relationship too. You don't want to risk that. Why risk it for a female friend who doesn't know her boundaries? That's clearly an issue, and you don't want that person in your life. So why have that female friend so close and vouch to have your female friend if she's not respecting you, which... You are now a unit with this partner. Yeah, love the word unit. We here. love the word unit. Simona we're a birth that unit. word. Unit. <laughs> also, why is it worth making that girl that's your friend comfortable if it means like creating trust Putting issues you for your girl? Putting your girlfriend secondary. I'm sorry, that's what you're fucking doing. If you're being like, well, I'm not gonna know the answer. She's my friend. She was there before you. Bye. And she's like, gonna be there goodbye. after me because I'm about to walk out the fucking door. Yeah, honey. Wow. I'm about to leave <laughs> your ass. Goodbye. Um, she's your female friend for a reason. I'm your girlfriend for a reason. Let's fucking look at it that way. Keep it simple. Yeah. And if she's gonna cross those boundaries, you call her out. She's gonna continue and throw a fit, for example. My ex had this friend that would, a uh, co worker, but we're not gonna go into that, who would message him, right? And he's like, oh, we're just friends. She just talks to me about her boyfriend and blah, 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 blah. Never met her, number one. Number two. Every time he would tell her, listen, my, and this is his problem too. Okay. Let me know where you, where you spot the issue here. He messaged her being like, cause I vocalized I was uncomfortable. Um, mm -hmm. good for you. I love that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I say, I said, I'm uncomfortable. He messaged her saying, Hey, listen, my girlfriend doesn't feel so comfortable about this. So I would prefer it if we just stopped talking in the middle of the night about things that are not work related because right. you know, it's not appropriate. So. What was the issue there? That he passed it off as you. Yes. 
Uh, he's relieving himself, like, oh, my girlfriend's making me do this, like, we can't talk. Mm -hmm. So then she's like, it's your girlfriend. It's controlling. And what the fuck? It's unhealthy for you. And then she's disrespecting, first of all, him and me. Now, I'm going to give him some blame, too, because, yeah, you're right. He's literally saying, my girlfriend's making me do this. And I look back at it, and I think I vocalized it incorrectly. And I think it's very important that if you are having issues with this, to, yes, vocalize, but to vocalize it properly. This goes back to our theory with everything. You don't want to force your man or woman or whoever to fucking make a decision that is not solely theirs. Yes. The only thing you can do, and Simona, like, I think you said it best, which was, like, all you can do is vocalize how you feel yeah you That's vocalize okay. how you feel and you're like so if you are uncomfortable babe that makes me really uncomfortable and uneasy I know that that's your friend for whatever reason, that connection is important to you. I can't grasp why. So I think I need a moment to see how I really feel about this and take some time. Mm -hmm. Take some time. Take a little breath. Mm -hmm. Take a pause. He'll be fine. He's still going to be there. And then he'll be like, listen, my girl or her, like what, what is more fruitful for me? What do I really want? Mm -hmm. Like, is this friendship worth it? Mm -hmm. Also, I've been the friend that's a girl. Mm -hmm. I know how you fucking act and I know what you do. And you can just tell when a girl is not being genuine. Like she's not in it for your, like your man. That's so we can be right. friends. That's right. Like, because the reason why she's giving you shit, like even if you worded it wrong, right? I think it's very important to word it correctly, be mature about it and think before what you, before you say something. However, if that girl comes at you, okay, men out there, and she's like, your girlfriend, uh, uh, oh my God, your girlfriend's crazy, whatever the fuck she says, she does not care for you because if she cared for you and if she was your friend, she would want you two to thrive and work out. Unit. Right? As a fucking unit because As now you are his girlfriend. You are a big part in his life. He cares. He's clearly telling the world, this is my one right now. Yes. Respect like that. If he's bringing you into the friend group, as a girl... Like, it's my job. Whenever one of the boys brought a girl into the group, I would have done this anyways, even if I hadn't hooked up with one of the boys, but just so happens that I had. So, with a guy, so she hooks up with a guy who yes. is now bringing a girlfriend in. But she hooked up with him a while ago. Exactly. Done. done. One time but time. I would also have done this regardless of the fact. Yes. Because I'm still so close with the boys that, that girls would be like, why are you always here? Yeah, yeah. And I'd be like, okay, like I know what you're thinking. Yeah. You can't be naive. But like you can't deny the fact that girls go in there kind of feeling a little weird about that. Yeah, And you're, and you're aware of that. Exactly. Yeah. I'm aware of that because I was on the receiving end of it. That's right. And when I go in now, I'm not naive. I'm like, okay, I like, know what's know up what here. So like, yeah. tell me what it is before we go to the fucking party. Because yeah. if I find out at the party, I'm going to be like, why'd you hide it? Mm -hmm. Like omission of truth. Mm -hmm. It's the same as lying. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that another time. <laughs> um, so anyways, when my guy friend brought his girl in, I'm like, it is my responsibility and my duty as his friend because I love him and I've known him for years. And yes, we hooked up once and that is literally it. It's over. It's done. My job is to make her feel as comfortable with this situation and this relationship where it's at now, me and the boys, me and her man, and just make her feel like I got her back. I got her back as a girl. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to see you every weekend. We're both going to be here. We developed a relationship. We became mm -hmm. super close. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. if one night she wasn't out with all of us and she'd be like, yo, like, are you going out with the guys tonight? Like, I can't make it or like, I'm not coming. I'm like, girl, I got you. Like, I'm watching. I'm watching him. Be a the girl's girl. girl. Like, that's how you know she's a friend. Like, oh, yeah. Remember we got that comment that was just like, why do you care about his girlfriend? It's like, because A, I care about him, number one, so I care about her, obviously. And also, I'm a girl's girl. If you don't care about his girlfriend, you don't care, care about, about him. him. Done. Like, I cared for all of my guy friends. Like, all of them. Yeah, I was like, yo, too. like, you're winning. Like, she's so cute. I like her. Exactly. Like, I want to see you guys win. Like, I want to see you thrive. Yeah. Like, I'm the friend that helps you pull the girl you want to yes. pull. Yes. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, if you're going to be one of the boys or you're going to be his mm -hmm. friend, mm -hmm. like, make sure he's winning. Like, I want you to win. That's why I don't understand the female friends who give their this guy who's in a happy relationship shit and, and try and sabotage that. Like, who the f I can't wrap my head around that it's because, because I'm not like because that. She just, yeah, it's because she doesn't want the best for you. She, she doesn't. doesn't. She doesn't want to be friends with you. Nope. She wants something else. And that's why all these problems are rising. And that's why your girl feels uncomfortable. Listen, I know some guys who are like, 
I don't know if this is comfortable. Show her the text. Be like, hey, Stacy messaged me like, what's up? Like she's asking advice yeah. about her boyfriend. Like maybe you can give in your whatever. Like yeah. involve her yeah. and ask her, does this cross the line? Do you feel uncomfortable when she texts me? Yeah. Like, you going above and beyond as a man or woman in the relationship, if that's the role that you're in, shows so much more about you and shows that you care rather than avoiding it, hiding it, not knowing what to do, freaking out, and then her finding out, that's it. Yeah, it's it also like so much fucking suspicion. It's also like when I think back to like when I was with all my like guy friends that I was close with and like they all had girlfriends. Mm -hmm. Like, we would only text if it was, like, yo, like, the party's at my house tonight. Like, come yeah, there through. was like, no other conversation. It was, like, the conversation was all about all of us hanging out or doing something. And I only got information from the individuals that were taken when it came time to see them and make uh -huh. plans mm -hmm. as a group. So, I know that you don't, in fact, need to be texting Stacy every fucking day. Like, and as a girl, you shouldn't be pressed because that's not your man. Fucking right, okay? You know, I've had issues and encounters where it's like, well, she's just texting me about her boyfriend. Like, she, she can doesn't text have the girlfriends. girls. Yes! She doesn't have girlfriends? What are you going to do for her? Where the fuck are her girls? Like, I got to coach you through shit, and she thinks you're going to coach her through shit? Like, get the fuck out of here. Give her my number. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll fucking help her out, okay? Seriously. Fucking put this bitch in so, her place. Exactly. So that's why every time your man gets defensive over this and doesn't understand after you've vocalized it to him like that, to me, red flag. Red fucking flag. Red, red fucking, flag. fucking flag. I'm waving the fucking flag. Waving the fucking flag. Okay, guys, that's okay. just bottom line what it is, and you can tell him that. Be like, listen, the fact that you're so defensive over a bitch who's so disrespectful to our relationship, you're a piece of shit. Goodbye. You can maintain it, and there's certain things that you can do to create the distance. You need the buffer zone. Mm -hmm. If she's actually a genuine, real, authentic friend, like we are... Um, she'll get the she'll, hint. She'll get the hint. She'll respect it. She'll make sure that your girlfriend is a priority and that your girlfriend feels safe with her. And she will make sure that there's some type of a relationship with her and the girlfriend. Right? That's right. She'll go above and beyond to try and make it happen. There you go. Exactly, motherfuckers. We cracked the motherfucking code about your boyfriend and his female friends. And I think also something that we didn't really mention, because I think we've already countered it, was... Well, isn't it insecure if you are, don't feel comfortable with female friends around your men? No. Not at all. It's, it has nothing to do with insecurity, guys. It is just us not being naive because we know both ends of it. We've experienced it. And also, it's just a matter of respect. Like, if the roles were reversed, if my guy was really close to me, would my man be happy about that? Probably not if I'm texting him at fucking 12 at night. Exactly. Like, is that is she going to be your priority? Is Are you really going to put that above our relationship and what we're trying to build? Because at the end of the day... You're trying to build a foundation with me, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So we can only advance and make a strong foundation if you level with me on how we're both feeling and if we come to a fucking agreement. Right. It's like when you're building a house. Everything needs to line up perfectly. Foundation In order needs to be for the secure. fucking house to stay where it is. If one little thing is off center, that fucking house crumbling down. One, one big gust of wind and it is fucking over. done, Game done. Over. So make sure the foundation is solid as fuck. That's right. I love that for us. Love that for us. <laughs> okay, who's trying to build a house <laughs> in LA? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We hope this helps. And you know what? If you need someone to watch this, share it. Send it over to them. Send it over. Send it over to your Send man. Send it over. Send it over to the female friend. Let's learn. Let's help Let's each other. Let's learn. Let's help each other. Like, share this. Honestly, share it. And don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. And we love you. We'll see you back we here next you. week. We love you. We love you. Love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. And we love you. We love you. We love you. Imagine <laughs> I just said, you all move. You probably will. <laughs> You're like the master. Honestly, I'm like, okay, loop it, loop it, loop it. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>